Hello, VC. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everyone that has uh, left a comment and subscribed to my channel on my previous intro video. Uh, this video is what the title is, Weekly Finds. Uh, a little bit about my uh, uh, where I'm from. I, I don't have a record store, so 98, 9% of my purchases are done online, either through Discogs, Amazon, or straight from the labels of uh, the records that I'm going to show. Um, when I do get to go out of town, whether it be San Antonio or Austin or anywhere else, I do hit record stores, but unfortunately, I don't have a record store in town. We do have a second in Charles, and they do get records, but the from my experience, I've been highly overpriced, and as far as um, older records, their selection is not the greatest. I think in the six, seven years that they've been in town, I may have bought five records in total. So uh, uh, Laredo is not a good place to go digging for records. So all my purchases are done online. And uh, so I wanted to share uh, with you as I add to my collection what I get, what I purchase. And I'll start off by uh, showing a record of a band out of Mexico. They're new to me, um, but they are called Santa Sangre, which means Holy Blood. And this is your Doom Meadow, Stoner Rock, Psychedelic uh, kind of vibe. Uh, I haven't heard anything from this band other than I like the cover and um, the vendor I bought it from, which is the Cosmic Petler, had it as one of their top uh, top purchases or, or you know recommendations. So I'll be interested to check this out, and once I do, I'll let you know what I think about it. But I do like um, doom metal and and uh, harder harder rock stuff. So. Yeah, Santa Sangre. Um, last week, I was in Houston last weekend for the Uncle Acid and King Buffalo show. And I'm very familiar with King, with uh, Uncle Acid. Um, not familiar at all with King Buffalo. I, I had him on a split with La Bray. They were on the STB Records. So I only had one song of theirs, and I never really followed them. Uh, shame on me. But anyway, at the show, uh, they opened, and, man, they were fantastic. I mean, they blew me away from the first song to the end of their set. I was so blown away and so impressed by them that right before the show ended, I went to their merch table I purchased every record that they had on site um, saves me on shipping uh, and it helps the band directly. Uh, my understanding is that most of these records are on um, their self-release. They're released by the band. They're not on a major label. So uh, yeah, more power to them. Like helping out bands that way, you know, hopefully they can get a, a, a record deal one of these days or, or continue releasing records on their, on their own. So, um, yeah, this is a uh, Orion by King Buffalo. Still haven't heard this. I did hear a little bit on Spotify and some of the songs that, they, that they, I saw live or on this record. Um, also, um, what is the name of this one? I've got some stickers here blocking the name. Oh, it's called. Longing to be the mountain by King Buffalo. This is an EP of theirs called Repeater. Another one, another EP by King Buffalo, Dead Star. This is a pretty cool cover. King Buffalo, uh, Akron, 
check out that hard work pretty far out and last but not least this is one of their more recent re uh, re uh, releases is the burden of restlessness is King buffalo another cool cover you can see there's got a black and silver kind of splatter thing going on excuse my dog Shh, you eat. and in today's mail I received some goodies via the label riot season I don't know if any of you are familiar with the with the label riot season they're out of England uh, my understanding is it's a one-man operation so this one guy is responsible for all these releases I know he releases a lot of neo psych uh, psychedelic space rock uh, I know he's got several acid um, um, what is the name of that band anyway they'll come to mind um, yeah great label I'm a fan of anytime he puts up uh, pre-sales I uh, I jump on it. Um, usually does small runs so some of them do sell out pretty quickly uh, but anyway this is a band out of Ireland which is appropriate being today at the St. Patty's Day the name of the band is Wild Rocket and this is the record Formless Abyss um, classified as Neo Psych uh, Rock uh, let me take a look at the kind uh, comes with a CD as you can see the CD right here um, I'm interested in, in, in hearing this I, I heard a little bit of it and I liked it so I ordered and being that they're coming out of England it's always great that you order two records at a time so that you can justify the shipping shipping across the world has gone up so my recommendation is to make it worthwhile order more than one record and this is a band out of Osaka Japan called Kevin Neo Psych Noise um, Rock Outfit. Uh, I do like and favor Japanese artists just because I've got a love for Japan. And there's a lot of great uh, underrated music, excuse me, that comes out of Japan that unfortunately doesn't get the recognition it should. So this outfit, Kevin, is out of Osaka, Japan. They're on the Riot Season label. Um, want to hear a little bit more of this but I just recently just opened up these so I haven't had the time to spend I wanted to share with them uh, with you first as part of my weekly finds or weekly purchases and last but not least is a band out of Denmark they're called Tales of Murder and Dust kind of like a neo psychedelic dark experimental outfit I caught these this band in Austin uh, a few years back as part of a showcase. A lot of, a lot of bands that were going to be playing in Psycho Vegas a couple of years ago, and some of those bands got together and, and played in Austin. I know they were part of it. I had never heard of them, and again, another one of those experiences where I was so, you know, dumbfounded by their performance I was like wow who are these guys where are they from I mean I need some other music so they have a few releases uh and this is one I was missing I think this is a, a performance that they did at the fuzz club you can see up here fuzz club so uh yeah a great band love them uh, and try to pick up their stuff it's just so difficult to find their stuff even not in, on, on the internet you know without having to pay high shipping but I found this one with a domestic seller and uh, the price was just more than right and jumped on it so there you go folks um, just wanted to hop on here real quick uh, do this a little bit more often do this weekly if possible if I, if I get new new, uh, new records share what I, what I bought and as I get more familiar with how to use the StreamYard and, and YouTube, I'll put post links to the record labels and maybe links to the bands themselves, maybe videos of the, of the on mute that they have on YouTube, so you can get familiar with the music. Like I said, this is new for me, so I need to get a little bit more familiar with how to do all those little goodies that most of you who have channels have been doing this for a while are um, are, are good at doing. So anyway. 
Uh, just wanted to uh, show you all what I have. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for stopping by. And until yeah. the next one, see you. Be cool.